This is a short lesson on probability. It focuses on a few vocabulary words associated with probability that are important for third graders to know. By the end of this lesson, you will understand the vocabulary words certain, likely, unlikely, and impossible. And you will also be able to identify situations using those vocabulary words. I'm going to start by putting these blue marbles into the bag. And if I pull a marble out of the bag, can you predict what color I will pull? I'll pull a marble. As you can see, I pulled out a blue marble. And of course, the only marbles I'll pull out will be blue because I only have blue marbles in the bag. So just to be sure, let's try again. And I'm going to put these marbles into the bag. And again, can you predict what color marble I will pull from the bag? I pull one out and I pulled out a blue marble again. So we can say that it is certain that we will pull out a blue marble. It's definitely going to happen. There's no way for us to pull out any other color marble, only blue. So again, it is certain. Every time I pull out, I will pull out a blue marble because there are only blue marbles in the bag. What happens if I change to red marbles? What do you think will happen if I put these red marbles in the bag and pull one out? Let me put them in first. Then I'll go ahead and pull one out. And I pulled out a red marble. It is certain that the marble will be red because there are only red marbles in the bag. If something is certain, it definitely will happen. Let's look at what some of the other events are that are certain to happen. You are certain to go to recess. You are certain to get um, homework tonight. And finally, it is certain that, we'll, that you will go to bed sometime this evening. Now let's look at another example. What if I have five blue marbles and one green marble and I put them in a bag? Let's do that and see what happens. And now I want you to make a prediction. What color marble will I pull out? There it is. I pulled out a blue marble. Let's try it one more time. I put the marbles in. Once again, I want you to predict what color marble I will pull out from the bag. And there it is. Once again, I pulled out a blue marble. Let's even try a third time, just to see. Put the marbles in. And predict what color. Let's pull one out and see. And I still pick a blue marble. So why does that happen? Why do I keep pulling blue marbles? Well, I have five blue marbles and only one green, so I'm probably going to pick a blue marble. So we say it is likely that we will pick a blue marble because there are mostly blue marbles in the bag. We can also say that it's unlikely to pull a green marble because there's only one green marble. This time I'm going to show you the marbles that I have in the bag. If I were to pull out one marble, how would you know what color it would be? Well, how can we decide whether we would be likely to pull out a yellow or a green marble? The easiest way to do that is to count the marbles. First, we count one color. I'll count the green. There's one, two, three, three green marbles. I'll go ahead and put that up here. And then I'll go ahead and count the yellow marbles. One, two, three, Four, five, six. There's six yellow marbles. We'll note that up here. So it's likely that we'll pull a yellow marble since there are mostly yellow marbles in the bag. And it is unlikely to pull green because there are only three green marbles. If something is likely, an event 
probably will happen. It's not for sure. What are some other events that are likely to happen? Well, it's likely to be sunny today. We don't have any clouds in the sky, but you never know. It's likely that I will drink coffee in the morning. Every once in a while, I like to surprise you guys, but usually it's coffee. And it's likely that we'll have a spelling test on Friday. We do have other things that come up sometimes, but it's likely that we'll have the test. If something is unlikely, an event probably will not happen. You never know for sure. What are some other events that are unlikely to happen? Well, it's unlikely to rain. Probably not going to get any big rain clouds moving in soon. It's unlikely that your mom will let you play video games all night long, maybe on the weekend, but still probably not all night. Finally, it's unlikely that your lunch will look like this. Now let's go back to the first example where I have all blue marbles. If I put all of the blue marbles into the bag, as I'm doing right now, how likely is it that I will pull out a white marble? Let me pull out a marble just so you can see. You can see that I pulled out a blue marble. And you know that there are no white marbles in the bag, so there's no way to pull out a white marble. So we say that it's impossible. Again, if I have only six blue marbles, it is impossible to pull out a white marble because there are no white marbles in the bag. It's also impossible to pull out a purple or green or red marble. Again, we say that it's impossible. If something's impossible, it will not happen, no way. What are some other events that are impossible? Well, it's impossible that a monkey will call you on the telephone. There's just no way. It's impossible that you'll go back to kindergarten when you finish third grade. It's impossible that you'll have a whale as a pet. They're too big. Let's do a quick review. Is it certain, likely, unlikely, or impossible that the principal will drive into our class in a car? It is impossible. How about that you will have milk with your lunch today? That's likely. Most of you have milk. That you will fall down and cut open your knee? Uh, unlikely. It doesn't happen every day. That we will complete this lesson? Certain. For sure. Let's do a little bit more review. I'd like to tell you whether it's, I'd like you to tell me whether it's certain, likely, unlikely, or impossible in this group of marbles to pull a purple marble. It's likely because there are more purple marbles than any other color marble. How about a green marble? It's impossible because there are no green marbles in this set. In this set of marbles, how likely is it to pull a yellow marble? Well, it's unlikely because there are only two yellow marbles. How about a blue marble? Also unlikely because there's only one of those. Finally, in this last set, how likely is it to pull a red marble? It's likely. Again, there are mostly red marbles. How about a white marble? It's impossible because there are no white marbles. So now you know the new math vocabulary words, certain, likely, unlikely, and possible. And this is certainly the end of this lesson.